Hello, brothers. Um, welcome to Monmouth University, the home of Delta Beta chapter. Uh, my name is Andrew Mucci. I'm the current stage of Delta Beta. And this is Evan Cowan, my uh, second counselor, vice president. Um, let's just get things started. Um, welcome to the 10th Annual New Jersey Province and Member Experience. I'm um, happy to have all you guys here. Thanks for coming out um, despite uh, weather issues. Um, today, uh, just a little bit, really quick, I'm going to go over Monmouth University, uh, the history of uh, Delta Beta chapter, and um, my chapter's recent activity. Um, life here at Monmouth. Okay. Uh, our current president, uh, just inducted last year, uh, Paul R. Brown. Um, we have about 4,500 undergraduate students here. Uh, we have a Division I athletics program. Uh, as well as uh, eight different types of schools, 29 undergraduate programs. Um, it's an optimal location for beach goers. Uh, beach is within a mile radius of the school, so you can walk there, whatever, um, when it's not snowing. Um, and it's one hour from Philadelphia, New York City, so it's in a great location. <clears throat> Monmouth University Greek Life. Uh, we have 16 recognized organizations as of right now. We have seven fraternities, eight sororities, and one professional and uh, academic fraternity. Um, we currently have about 900 active Greek members in our community, um, which is a, it's a good amount, and it's always growing. Um, <clears throat> some of the events that we have hold uh, our homecoming we had in the fall semester, and Greek week we are holding in the spring semester. A little bit about Delta Beta chapter. <clears throat> um, we were not always a Sigma Pi chapter. Um, we were originally Alpha Theta Chi uh, fraternity that was founded on April 6th, 1959. Um, a couple of those guys think, thought they wanted something a little bigger, a little better, so they decided to join the National Organization of Sigma Pi. Um, so uh, Alpha Theta Chi, they became recognized as Sigma Pi on March 22nd, 1969. Um, but unfortunately, 1974, uh, Zeta Beta Tau Pledge um, was killed in a hazing incident, um, and Greek life was suspended from Monmouth College. But uh, in 1989, Delta Beta Chapter was uh, recolonized and uh, growing ever since. <clears throat> uh, a little bit more about us. Uh, we are, were the Grand Stage winners in 2006. Uh, we were a top 25 chapter this past year, and we also uh, <clears throat> achieved the perfect efficiency rating um, in the standards of excellence. Um, we're heavily involved with our community. We participate with Donate Life, which they have a stand right outside. Um, also with um, the Amazing Day Foundation, Suicide Prevention, Habitat for Humanity we participated with, as well as soup kitchens and children's hospitals. So we're very involved with our community. We think that's a very important part of uh, a fraternity man's life, um, and as well as the benefit of the chapter. Um, we were also the 2014 intramural soccer champions, which is, uh, we're pretty proud of that. Um, a little bit about our ACE project. Um, last semester, uh, we uh, had a drunk driving simulation with our campus police, the MUPD, um, where uh, kids could just come out. We had it out in the quad on the residential side of campus um, where uh, we had golf carts and drunk driving goggles where uh, people can see the, the effects that alcohol can have on your driving ability. Um, we also had a guest speaker um, talk, come and talk to students about alcohol abuse. And finally, one of the big things that we, as a chapter, um, really had a passion for and really, really went out and, and made a big thing was uh, our Heart of the Lion Walk, um, which is to commemorate a fallen brother of ours, uh, Christopher Kali Mejia. Um, this is an event that we plan on having every single year, and we encourage brothers um, from New Jersey, New York, all, all over to, uh, to come out to this event. We'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, but uh, Chris Mejia was a big part of our fraternity and uh, touched many, many lives outside the Greek community. Um, so it's something that we really, really, really are proud of for ourselves and it's something that we look forward to continuing. How's it going, guys? Uh, thank you for coming out today, big Saturday. I think you guys got a lot going on right now. Um, I'm going to go over uh, some more about our recruitment process. Um, we have Currently, we have uh, 37 brothers. Um, we have seven new members this fall and nine new initiates this spring. Um, about our recruitment process, we try to make names of uh, 
the kids that were taking down make lists of their student IDs um, and their email addresses and we're always trying to keep in, in touch with them and let them know what's going on so that when uh, it's time to take a pledge class we know who we who we want to take and we're taking the right kids. Um, also we do, we're big on brotherhood events um, as you see po we play poker a lot um, Monday night football wiffle ball football etc watch the Mayweather fights and uh, UFC we have FIFA tournaments uh, ultimately we just like to come together and just hang out do do what brothers do and um, you know that's the whole purpose behind all this is you know, leading as gentlemen, but also having a great relationship in and outside the classroom and off campus. Um, currently, our chapter is working on improving our campus image. Um, we like going, we go to the gym, the dining hall, student center, uh, participate in events that are on campus, community service, and as Mucci said, the uh, Mahia walk and candle vigil for our brother that passed away. Um, yeah, again, we'd like to thank you guys for coming out, and this concludes our presentation.